This is John Fedock for PowerYourself.com. I want to give you a quick update on the Arduino project, uh, which is the gas fire controller. Um, I got a chance to work on this over the last couple of days, so uh, here's, here's what I've found so far. Um, this is my Arduino Uno. Uh, this is the microprocessor over here. This is about $20. Uh, this is a $20 almost like a computer in your hand. It's a very simple one, but low power. Um, and over here is a breadboard, which is like a prototyping uh, area allows you to quickly plug in and plug out different circuits and different components. Um, here's my LCD and I'll show you what is uh, being written on the LCD in a minute. And I've got two sensors set up, a CO sensor which is uh, right here and a pressure sensor which is shown right here. And uh, I'm going to use these two sensors to monitor the health and uh, quality of the, out of the gas coming out of the gas fire. Um, so I guess I'll show you how these work. If I go ahead and just blow on this Bluetooth sensor, well first let me zoom in here for you so you can see the output on the, on the LCD screen. Let's see. So if I blow on this, you can see that the parts per million concentration of CO goes up here on the bottom. Um, So that seems to be working quite well, and over time it'll drop back down to, you know, the concentration level. In the room. Now, keep in mind these haven't been calibrated. Um, even though the top sensor, which is reading 102 kPa, um, is pretty darn close to the the correct uh, reading, which is 101 kPa. Um, as you can see, my uh, CO concentration here might be a little sensitive, or catching pockets of it. Um, let me go ahead and show you how the, the pressure sensor works. So I'm going to use this device here. Zoom out for you. This is my, this is kind of a hand pump. And uh, I'll use this by taking this hose here, and plugging that onto the top of the pressure sensor. Like this. Now this one's really not calibrated, as you'll notice, it pulls the pressure down, even though 102 is right, you can pull a vacuum on it, it goes, look at it, it goes to, right when it goes below 100, it goes to 999, which then it keeps going down from there. So I thought that this was supposed to measure a vacuum but it seems like it's really meant to measure positive pressure because if I go up, it, excuse me, let me change it to positive pressure. You can see it, it actually seems to work properly, uh, measuring the correct pressure. Now we're about at two atmospheres or 20, 20 psi. So that's working about right. Um, if I look at the gauge, yeah. <laughs> so I'm concerned that this isn't actually a vacuum sensor, it is only a positive pressure sensor. Um, so more on that to come. But anyway, it does work, so that is that's good news. Um, just a short one today, this is a short update. Uh, this is all I got for you. Um, I'm waiting on, uh, well, actually, before I go, let me show you this real quick. This is a, uh, here, this is a thermocouple module, which fits, supposed to fit right on top of the Arduino like this. Um, you can see I had a thermocouple lead wire plugged into it. Um, and this is supposed to allow me to measure the temperature of eight different readouts at one time. But unfortunately, there seems to be something wrong with the board. And you know, the connections are a little flaky. And you have to push on it to get it to work. And it only works intermittently. So I'm just going to go ahead and return it and get uh, my $65 back. And I found a cheaper, a uh, lo little bit more you know, work, but a little cheaper option and I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Um, so I'll give you an update on the, those components when I get the system working. And uh, it seems, it's, it's certainly the learning curve is, is not that steep. Certainly something everybody can do. So um, I should be able to show you how to build this, this little circuit. This may look like a lot of wires and pretty complicated here, but it's really pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> so that's all I have for you today. 
Uh, this is John Fedock signing off uh, for PowerYourself.com. Have a great day.